for watching this. Let's talk business, shall we? You watch it, but watch it with video basic nights. Nice. Hey guys, video books in here. And I am just relaxing uh, after a long day of doing nothing. Sounds sad, but it's true. Um, before I get right into the vlog, I want to just briefly say what's up to everybody. And I just want to talk about uh, the vlog that I did previously about Coney. 2012, that whole thing. Um, you know, after coming to some realizations and doing some more research about the topic, I decided that, you know, the whole Coney thing was a little exaggerated. And, you know, there's some parts that were a little, you know, not really over the top, but some things about the whole campaign that were a little, you know, kind of, I guess, wayward in a way. So... Uh, though I still feel strong about, you know, the situation that happened in Africa with the LRA and Joseph Coney and, you know, the children, uh, you know, I just feel a little bit more in the know about it than going off of raw emotions. Because that last vlog was just, you know, pure stream of thought, pure what I was feeling at that moment after watching the documentary. It wasn't really biased, it wasn't really, you know, well thought out in the sense of, you know, what the documentary was or what it was trying to do or what it was trying to accomplish. So I'm glad that I had a little bit more clarity. I thank everybody who, you know, left me comments that may have seemed bashing but was trying to inform me about, you know, the real deal and all. So I thank you guys for leaving those comments. And, you know, it's just went to show me that I have to do more research about things before I, you know, jump into action. I just want to get that out the way. As we move on, uh, today I want to talk about business. I want to talk about, I guess, what I do outside of YouTube. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a freelance videographer. And these days I'm trying to gain more of a clientele in the sense of my video services. And so far in the past couple of months, I've been getting gigs and getting paid for them. And it feels really good. It feels really good to know that people trust me in uh, you know, providing them the service that I am good at, you know. I never thought in the beginning that, you know, videography could be something lucrative. And I'm now discovering that it could be. And I'm not a businessman. I'm not a business person. So it's hard for me to kind of, oh, I don't want to say it, it's hard for me to, but it was hard for me to kind of get the grasp of conducting business and talking to people and working out something. Because I, I wasn't really familiar with it in the past, you know. But now I think I'm getting that experience by, you know, trying to get clients. And I want to get more clients because I feel, you know, the first important thing in business is establishing relationships. And I think that's what I'm trying to do right now with the people that I'm working with. And it's cool because, you know, that leads to continuous work. It's not just a one-time thing. And especially these days where, you know, everything's slim to none uh, in the sense of opportunities you know, you got to really take what you have and work it into something that's, you know, lasting. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. And, you know, it. I guess in a sense, this is my job. My job is my business and my business is my work. So, you know, if you guys don't see me like posting YouTube videos every week, it's not because I don't want to or, you know, sometimes it may be that I don't have an idea and, you know, I just can't do it. But... It could be other times where, you know, I'm busy. Like, this past week, I was just busy, like, editing videos for this one client I have and stuff. And, you know, it it depends on what I'm doing. So, yeah, sometimes I may be busy. Other times I may not be busy. You know, it could be a dry season where I have nothing going on. And I'm still trying to find work. I recently had an interview for a job that I made a video for. Uh, if you guys want to see uh, the link to the video I made for that job... I'll post it down below, or maybe I'll leave an annotation, whatever the case may be, but, you know, like, I'm, I'm busy, like, trying to do other things that will help me get a job, or work, or funds, or cash flow, you know, it's, it's really not easy, but I have to keep consistent, and I have to be, you know, motivated to keep going, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's challenging, it's a challenge, a challenge I'm willing to take, so yeah, that's, that's, my grasp on business, I'm not, as I said, I'm not a businessman, but I, 
I feel like if I conduct more business and, you know, present myself more professionally, people take me more seriously. And the term professionalism, to me, sometimes I think it's overused, but not overused in like a, I guess, saturated way, but I think a lot of people have different terms or different ideas of what being a professional is. So I'm seeing in the technical aspect of you being good at something or being an expert at something, others see it as, you know, mannerisms, the way you carry yourself in a, you know, business manner, uh, whether it's like showing up on time to something or, you know, uh, coordinating, you know, certain, I guess, communications with you and another person to getting a project done. I mean, it, it all depends on what you define what professionalism is. For me, it's a combination of both, obviously. It's, you know, being timely, getting the job done at a, you know, reasonable time frame, letting the client know what my expectations are, what their expectations are, and just, you know, being fair. I think business should be fair. Granted, business is not always fair, but business should be fair in the sense of there's understanding, there's communication, there's no, like... There's no, like, things up in the air that cause confusion. Everything should be clear, fair, and concise. That's how business should be run. And that's just my opinion. Other people can have different opinions, but that's how I want to run my business. In the sense of be, being my own entity. Other than that, guys, and nothing in particular. Right now, I'm actually about to play some video games. As you see, my PS3 is booted up. I'm just going to relax. I've had, you know, I've been in front of the computer for so long. Oh, gosh. It's like my eyes are always glued to a screen, whether it be TV or computer. So I just need to give myself a little break sometimes, I'll alternate between stuff and give myself some rest. But, yeah, that's 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 all that's happening with me now. I just wanted to talk about my uh, business ventures. Nothing crazy. Um, side note, shout out to the people uh, from last night's Block TV. That was awesome. Good stuff. Um, shout out to Shaniqua and uh, Michael and Dottie and all the other cool people that passed by. Uh, you guys really, really helped me to keep this video stuff going, so I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, thanks for the people who liked the latest video. Um, that was also, you know, appreciative of the support. And, yeah, just got to keep it going. Business as usual, as they say. Alright guys, that's about it. Just wanted to get that out there. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, probably one day we can do some business. Who knows? We'll see. Alright, I gotta get my Dr. Evil on. Check you guys later. Fade out. <laughs>